into the Ganges. But when most of it dissolves out of sight, how can you hope to catch the culprits? Enter two enterprising scientists. Professor Rajiv Sinha and his student Dipro Sarkar are determined to bring the polluters to justice. Normally, if you want to find what's hidden in the water, what you do is you take a jar of that water back to the lab, look at it under the microscope, do, do other sophisticated tests on it. What these scientists are telling me is that you can also get very good information if you go a long way up in the air and you film the water with special cameras. Rajiv and Deepro have agreed to give me a sneak preview of their new system. I'm, I'm seeing the river, so presumably the, the cameras are, are picking it up. Our super-sensitive, hyper-spectral cameras can detect the chemical signatures of different pollutants. Climbing a little bit further, we're at 1,200 feet. To the naked eye, the river looks perfectly clean. But within seconds, our specialized cameras see something suspicious. Ah, there's something coming out. I'm in Kanpur, a city on the Ganges where industrial waste is being illegally dumped in the river. But two scientists are zeroing in on the polluters. Ah, there's something coming out. And their specially adapted cameras have just snapped something that calls for closer inspection. This is a normal image from the naked eye. We can't see the pollution. It just disappears. But just check on this. Ah, oh, that is so dramatic. In Deepro's enhanced image, the pollution and where it's coming from are both clearly visible. Water pollution normally, in a very short distance, you can't see it anymore, so it's out of mind. Absolutely. Tracking pollution to its source, that's the critical point here. With this whole technology, we have a visual evidence, and that kind of evidence is very hard to deny by anyone. You can actually point out that this is the tannery, yes. which is creating yes. the pollution. So it's real precision, this, isn't it? Yes. The cameras work just as well at night, so it's going to be hard for the polluters to hide. We know that the technique works in terms of detecting pollution, and that can actually be applied anywhere in the world. This is definitely a game changer. Innovators and doers are exactly what the Ganges needs. 